Hey everyone, this is Joey with Third Rock Telecom and today we're going to go over a basic single server installation of Vici Dial. We're going to keep it nice and simple and the goal is by the end of this video is you to have administrative access to log into your server using the 6666 username. All right, now there are going to be subsequent videos after this that is going to show you how to create campaigns, how to uh, create DIDs, how to set up carriers, user groups, etc, etc. But for today, we're going to focus on this. Vici Dial has just been my uh, call center software of choice for a decade. Um, I knew nothing about it when I did my first installation and essentially just uh, went to the vicibox.org website. There's an installation manual which looks like this. I followed that and I was able to figure it out. I definitely made some mistakes but made it happen. Today I'm going to very much simplify this for you. Okay. So um, let's get started here. The first thing you're going to need to do is click VichyBox installation disk. That's going to download an ISO for you. So you either burn that ISO to a disk or you um, upload it to your virtual server, depending if you're if you're going that route. So what we're going to do right away is uh, we're going to get started and I'm going to log in and bring up the interface. All right, so I booted up uh, the server with the ISO and log in with the default username and password, which in this case, in every case, is going to be root, and the password is going to be Vici Dial. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is do OS install. So OS dash install, enter. And it's going to start initializing here. A lot of this is just going to be clicking next. So remember the Alt key on your keyboard in most cases is your friend. Alt N for next. Okay, I'm on Eastern time, so that works for me. I'm going to go next. Okay, default settings here are always have always been fine for me. Here's where we're going to change our default password of Vici Dial into something a little bit more difficult for the hackers to uh, figure out here. So I'm going to put that in. Make sure you write it down. You need to remember it. Alt N for next. So everything looks good. Basic default standard. We're going to hit Alt I to install. Alt I to install again. Now it's doing its thing. Installing. Uh, this will only take a couple minutes. If it takes a little bit longer, it's okay. And uh, we'll continue the video when this is all set. All right, so our server just rebooted here. We're going to log in with our credentials. Now remember, you changed the password. And assuming that you took out the ISO like instructed, it's gonna accept your new password. If you change your password and you're still not able to log in and you're like, why is my password still Vici Dial? I know I changed it. Your ISO is probably in there, so you want to take a look at that. So here, what we're going to want to do uh, before anything else is we're going to want to change the network settings. Okay, so to do that, Y-A-S-T space L-A-N. This is very simple. We're going to assume you have one NIC card, Ethernet card in your server, and we're going to assign it a public IP. Okay, so we're going to tab down to the Ethernet card and hit Alt-I. The Alt button, like I said, is really your friend here. What we're going to want to do is set this to static, Alt-T, tab down, or click Alt-I to set the IP address. Make sure you use the numbers on top of your keyboard, not the actual keypad on the right, because it tends to mess things up a little bit. So I'm going to put in my IP address. Obviously, everybody's IP address is going to be different. Subnet mask. go and for me that looks good I'm gonna hit alt G okay up top and we're as you see where it says firewall zone what we want to do since I'm putting in a public IP I'm gonna put that down to external zone just like that okay and it looks like we're good there I'm gonna hit alt N for next and now we're going to move over and we're going to change up the host name. So Alt S. 
Okay, here at the host name, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter in Google's name servers. So you hit Alt-1 and it takes you to that space, 8.8.8.8. Hit Alt-2 and you're gonna put 8.8.4.4. This way you're gonna ensure everything's gonna be working properly. Um, you're done here. Next, you wanna go to routing up the top. Alt-U takes you there. This is your default gateway. So um, you're gonna find this from either your ISP or your router, depending on your configuration. Usually it ends in a one. So we're gonna type this in here, 149. And it's usually similar to your IP address as well. Okay, and that is pretty much it. We're gonna hit Alt-O for OK. Um, and everything is going to be set. Now, you may have, it may be thinking a little bit for you and that's fine. It won't go straight back to the screen. This is okay. So here's where we're at. And the next thing you wanna do right now that you must do after you set those network settings is make sure that they work. So go to ping google.com. We're pinging good. Everything looks good there. Hit control C to stop that. Now we must reboot the server. You absolutely have to reboot before you go any further. Let's do that now and continue this in a minute. All right, so we just rebooted our server and we're in the home stretch here before we can actually log into our Vici dial system through the web interface. So we just rebooted. Let's type here Vici box express. Enter. Now this is going to ask you all the information, right? So if you have a local IP in the card, go ahead and put the local IP. If you do not, then you just want to put in your, your public IP. You want to continue with the install? Yes. we're gonna fast forward through this stuff here all right so we are good so the last thing we want to do here now that we installed Vici uh, Express is reboot our system so we're gonna just type in reboot again reboot and we'll be back all right our server just rebooted let's go ahead and put our IP in a browser boom there we go admin interface Let's click administration. This is the first time we log in. So the default username is going to be 666. It's the administrative login. The password default password is 1234. You sign in, it's gonna just walk you through some basic things here like a new password. That's definitely important. So you wanna make sure that you change that to whatever it needs to be. Okay default phone registration, default phone login password. You can keep all this stuff the same for now and just go ahead and click submit. So the password was just updated, okay? Now, you're gonna have minimal access to a lot of things right now. So let's go ahead and at least give you access to where you can see the report page because otherwise it's not gonna allow you to do anything because that 6666 user is completely restricted, right? So see, you do not have permissions to view this page. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to users 666 and then down here. So what you're gonna wanna do here is admin interface options. You're gonna wanna just make this a one all the way down. This is the grandmaster user access so you're going to want to be careful who has access to this so that you trust them completely because they're going to be able to do whatever they want to your system you see some of the the tabs in here the notes in here so modifying dids deleting dids deleting campaigns messing with your agents but as a main user, you're gonna to wanna to have to have all this access. Otherwise, 
down the road, you're going to think of things or realize that certain things aren't working or you're not able to do something. And it's going to be something as simple as not having the permission set properly. So if you know what you're doing and you've done this before, obviously, you know, some things that you can untick and that's fine. That's great. But for somebody who's just starting this out, this is the best way to go. That is good. You're good to go. Hit support or submit. I'm sorry. Now you have the report screen. So that's it, guys. That is the end of this video. I'm glad we were able to make this happen and fairly quickly for you. So go ahead and leave some comments if you have any questions. Also, one of the things we're going to be doing in future videos, again, like I said, is creating user groups, creating campaigns, creating users, creating DIDs, setting up your carriers. Third Rock Telecom, we specialize in dealing with call centers that use Vici Dial. We work great with them. We have great competitive rates and extremely high call connectivity. So make sure you uh, reach out to us. I have a link at the bottom here below the video to show you exactly how to get started with that. And you can be up and running within 15 minutes with free testing credit. So I look forward to hearing from you soon and uh, good luck on your endeavors. Thanks, guys.